Yahoo, meantime, buying video ad service Brightroll for about $640 million. That deal is going to make Yahoo's video advertising platform the largest in the country. Separately, Reuters reports at least two big Yahoo shareholders are pushing AOL CEO Tim Armstrong to explore a merger with Yahoo and want him to run the combined company. A disclosure note, CNBC and Yahoo have a business alliance to share and co-produce editorial content. Uh, this is turning into a heated parlor. Yeah, well, I got a disclosure note. Yahoo's up 21 percent. What do these people want? I mean, honestly, <laughs> I mean, do we really just have to sit there and say, you know what? She's a total bozo. OK, the stock's up 20, uh, 21 percent. AOL, on the other hand, is down 3 percent. Suddenly, we, we want Tim Armstrong to rescue us. Now, this acquisition that, uh, of Brightroll, I think, is a good acquisition because it does programmatic video, which is something that Armstrong's struggling to do, too. But I just say this whole notion that Meyer has done nothing misses the point that it's not financial engineering. It's genius that the first thing she did was negotiate a deal to get out of selling more Alibaba on the underwriting. What do you have to do to please shareholders? But that is not increasing page views. That is not increasing share in display. That's a, that, the stock price is, you could argue, untethered from those core metrics. And that's true. And what you're doing is you're betting that they're going to be a good steward of capital. They're going to be able to sell the Alibaba at a tax advantage price. Is it doing well? It's caught up in what we all know, but very few people talk about, which is the death of advertising on uh, really online. Yeah. I mean, this is the, when you're programmatic, what that should say to you is, that's a spam way to be able to place ads, which takes away the one-on-one -on -one relationship, the gin and tonic relationship, we used to call it, where you go out with big advertiser, advertiser firms say, listen, you really need placement. Yes. It's placement across the board. It's the algorithm of placement, and that has really hurt Yahoo more than anything else. Now, it is the first uh, big purchase since she got right. the Alibaba proceeds in her hand. Well, the, the margins for video are holding up. I mean, on election night, you saw Katie Couric doing a Yahoo presentation. You say... Well, wait a second. Maybe it's catching on. We know that we know that Google, that YouTube, they haven't even begun to monetize it. So there is a sense that maybe this is the way to go. I continue to hope that Yahoo goes toward a much more of a Yelp uh, model, much more perhaps of a Priceline model, that they buy some of these companies that have been able to lever the yellow pages of travel, of restaurants, of small business. That's got to be a better way to go. Because I, I have to tell you, I think video is going to collapse, too. It's only a matter of time. You mean margins? Yeah, margins for video. flood the market, everything. Advertising on the web is horrendous. TV advertising, despite the downgrade today by Via, about Viacom and Discovery from Bernstein, TV advertising is holding up pretty good versus web advertising. Why don't people tell the truth about web advertising, which is that there is just a tremendous pressure down, and you've got to get away from it if you're Yahoo. You've got to use that money to get away from it and put together a Grubhub, a HomeAway, a Yelp. I've been saying this. It, it, the prices are going her way. She certainly can do it. But you cannot just rely on advertising because that market has just been, been, des been destroyed by Google.